Hey guys, so I'm on here to share another dream real quick. Um, this dream I had two nights ago, um, and I didn't share it yet because I was still um, uploading the one for Nicolas Cage. But what's interesting about this dream is uh, a fellow sister in Christ, Andrea, um, some of you might follow her channel. Um, she gets a lot of dreams from the Lord too, and, and me and her, um, just share our dreams together and have fellowship together. Um, well, her son had almost the same dream that I had the same night that I had it. Um, I had told her like just briefly about the dream, uh, just in passing and conversation and she went and visited her son and he started telling her about his dream and so far a lot of it is so similar so I feel like the Lord's really um just emphasizing this dream so I'll share it with you guys um so it was a zombie dream and what I can remember about the dream was I was at this house, someone's house, and they had like this big backyard and then kind of around the perimeter were like trees and like a little bit of wooded area. And there were tons of kids there and some adults. Um, the kids were running around the yard, chasing each other, playing, doing what kids do. And we were there for like um, some kind of movie night because now that I think about there was I think there was like a projector screen and I think we were all gonna like watch a movie or something and next thing I know I see these creatures come out of the woods and uh, I vaguely remember what they look like it's so vague um I can't draw to save my life but if someone were to you know draw them or explain them or if I were to see like a picture of something simpler similar I would definitely know I'm sure it would bring much of my memory back all I remember was there were these really weird creatures and these weird shapes and they had these um like light they had this light around them and it was all like different colors um how do I even explain this like, I want to say around one was like a green light and around another might have been like a blue or a pink light or, or something like that. And um, they come out of the woods and they start eating like kids and adults. And it happens so fast, you guys. Like, they came out, they're just like crawling out, like all creepy and gross and stuff. And start eating kids and the next you know the kids start eating kids and the adults start eating you know whatever and everyone's like going around eating each other and it happened so fast and I'm like with these people I don't know who they um were but in the dream I knew who they were and I'm like hiding in different places in the house and I I just remember like I had to keep moving to hide somewhere else and um I knew they were like fast and, and really like smart, like could smell and everything. And then I think this dream went on for like a little while and I'm not sure. All I remember was um, at the end, I was like in this car with these people and some lady was driving. I think it was the lady who owned the house um, and like some of the kids were in the car and we're all like getting ready to to get out of there um and this lady had like this little chihuahua dog with like a little dress or tutu or something on it um and i remember the dog's name was ruby and she was like she let ruby go and told ruby to go to the house to check and make sure that you know if there were any more kids or anyone in there so that we could escape um and so ruby gets out and goes through like the front sliding doors and 
just like freezes in terror and is like whimpering like and across from her it's it's more like it's weird like I wasn't watching but I had like this knowing so across from her the sliding doors on the other side of the house a cat had come in and you and we could all hear from the car like we could hear the cat snarling and growling with like this zombie creepy evil like growl and we knew like it was a rat for ruby um and the lady who um who like owned ruby in the house and all that stuff she was like well oh what'd you say well it's it's good for her that this happens now or something like that or well oh, lord what was it I don't know, it was something like that. Like, I'm glad it happened. Um, or it's good for her. Something like that. Like, it's good for her. And I knew, like, what she meant when she said that. And I knew she meant, like, okay, well, it's good that Ruby, you know, dies and dies quickly and right off the bat and doesn't have to, like, live through all that and go through all that, you know, terror. So that was basically the end of the dream. And at that point, like, we knew there was no more time for uh you know even if there was anyone else left in the house like there was no time to run back and grab anybody like we had to get up out of there and that's basically all I remember to the dream and I didn't think too much of it other than like uh that was creepy and you know well like we all know this is gonna happen um we know that you know there's gonna be this whole zombie apocalypse and you know people are going to start changing and there's a lot of different theories um out there so I'm not going to delve into you know all of them uh but I do believe that people are going to change um and it, it's going to happen people are starting eating each other it's going to be crazy I don't want to be here for it so what's interesting is um now Andrea's son he had a dream where like he was at some place and next there were these creatures um and if i remember correctly i think he said they came out of the woods too um and he, he said he saw these creatures come out and they're eating people next thing you know people are eating each other and it happened super fast and him and a bunch of people were running around and like they were able to run through cars like they just had strong powers like that so I'm like, that's pretty dope. I'm not going to delve into that either. Um, but it's just pretty interesting how similar uh, our dreams were. And um, I guess he's going to try and draw the creatures that he saw. So I'm hoping he does that. And I'm hoping Andrea shows me because I'm really interested to see if they look sim similar to the creatures that I saw in my dream. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I mean, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. All we can do is lean on the Lord. I'm hoping and praying that we're raptured up out of here before any of that happens. Um, that's just my belief. Um, I don't get into debates over pre, mid, post rapture. I've been warning and sharing about the rapture on this channel from like, the beginning um Jesus is the foundation of this channel the rapture has been the main theme of this channel so if you don't believe in it I don't even know what to tell you I don't even know why you're on this channel um but I pray that you know you do uh accept that the Lord is going to be rapturing up his own and I pray that you find that out before it happens and that you don't get left behind um, I've turned off my comments because, uh, I, I love you guys, but it's just too much. Um, people are all about, you know, arguing and, and it's, it's, it's ridiculous at this point. We should be focusing on the Lord. We're commanded to watch, period. We're commanded to watch for the signs. We're commanded to watch for him. So that's what we're doing. Um, so I love you guys. To those, you know, who 
you know, we've had a good run communicating with each other and who are affected because of, you know, the bunch who want to ruin it for everybody. I'm sorry to you guys. I do love you guys. Um, and I'm hoping that we see each other soon in the clouds. So, um, yep, that's it. All right. God bless. Bye.